Hey guys, my name is Sharun Chetty Kuriala. I'm the technical lead for tracking and planning component of Rational Team Concert. Today I'll be doing a demo of query organization using tags feature, which is available as a technology preview in 6061 release. Note that this is a web UI only feature and Eclipse UI will remain unchanged. The agenda covers the use cases that are supported in the feature the changes that are done to the query editor, how organization is different in my queries and shared queries views. Here are the use cases that are supported with this feature. You can organize the personal queries. You can organize shared queries. You can search for a specific query in shared queries or personal queries. You can see the same query in more than one location. You can run the queries from the view which is used to organize the queries. You can create or edit queries from the view which is used to organize the queries. The query editor has an option to add tags. You can add two types of tags to a query. Personal tags are used for organizing queries in My Queries. Only the owner of the query can view or modify personal tags. Shared tags are used for organizing queries in shared queries. The shared input section is not enabled if the query is not shared. The ability to add or modify shared tags on a shared query is controlled by permissions. Tags can be hierarchical. For example, the tag 606 ifix003 endgame displays with the root of 606 child ifix003 and grandchild endgame. Click on work items my queries to see a list of your personal queries. Two predefined groupings are always shown. All queries this lists all queries irrespective of whether they have tags or not and untagged lists queries that are untagged. When you install the feature for the first time, you will find all your queries in all queries predefined group as well as in untagged predefined group. As you add the tags, you will notice uh, that uh, the ones which are tagged are removed from the untagged group. Below the predefined groupings, you see the tag tree. Selection of a specific tag in the tree shows corresponding queries with that tag on the right pane. The queries shown on the right pane support the following operations. Add tags allows you to add one or more tags to the query. You can also add new tags. You can remove the selected tag from the query. You can open the query in a new tab. You can edit the query which opens the query editor. You can also delete a query. Multi-select is supported for add tags and remove tag operation.
the tag nodes support two operations rename and delete rename allows you to change the name of the tag delete deletes the tag and all its child tags it also updates all the queries that use these tags the leaf nodes of the tree are queries it supports the operations run edit delete query and view run executes the query and shows the results on the right pane edit opens the query editor delete query deletes the query view provides information about the query it provides the following information on the query the name description owner personal tags shared tags the tags are clickable and can be used to navigate to the location of the tag in the tree in the my queries tab the query list shown in the right pane shows an icon indicating if the query was shared or not there is a predefined filter to show only shared queries unshared queries or both you can click on a tag in the right pane and it automatically selects the tag in the tree creating a query in my queries tab copies the selected personal tag shared queries tab does not copy the selected shared tag The right pane provides a filter that can be used to narrow down the results within the selection. If you have selected items with the filter on, changing the filter or clearing the filter still retains the selection when you create queries you can share them with teams or with specific users click shared queries to see a list of predefined queries and queries that are available to members of the teams you belong to all the features that we saw till now apply to both my queries and shared queries the queries shown in the shared queries tab are grouped by team areas or predefined groups such as life cycle queries predefined or individually shared you have an option to hide the groups in the shared query tabs the query list shown in the right pane shows an icon indicating if the logged in user is the creator of the query or not there are predefined filters that allow you to show only owned queries unknown queries or both
By default, this feature is not available for 6061 GA users. In the All Downloads tab for the release 6061 GA on Jazz.net, under the Technical Preview section, there will be an entry for this feature to download the zip and readme file. The readme file will have instructions on how to enable the feature. The user needs to accept the license before they can download. See the work item 472270 for more details on this feature. To provide any feedback on the feature, add a comment in the work item 474454. This work item tracks the work for the GA version of this feature. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.